It's Randy from Reefs.com here on the showroom floor of Reef of Palooza, New York. I'm here with Kevin Costa from Hanna Instruments, uh, one of the leaders in aquarium testing equipment and other industry testing equipment as well. And Kevin's going to talk us through a couple of uh, the new products they have and some improvement to some old products. So thanks for talking with us, Kevin. Thank you so much. A couple things I want to highlight here is uh, this product on the left here is uh, the Halo. It's the world's first wireless pH electrode. So the idea behind this is if you wanted to get a lab grade pH electrode with uh, an accuracy up to the thousandths place, uh, the expensive portion of the, the product isn't necessarily the electrode itself, but it's the meter that displays the reading. So what we did as a company is we, uh, we used the Bluetooth receiver here that allows you to uh, wirelessly connect to any sort of smartphone or tablet device that runs Android or Apple. So the idea behind that is electrode sends a Bluetooth signal to your phone using our free HANA lab app. And that's going to be able to record data. You can log all your data. You can graph the results over long term. You can calibrate the electrode up to five buffers for increased accuracy. Uh, you can also just practice good calibration practices, such as you know when the last time you calibrated was, uh, what points you calibrated to, and there's a whole lot of other features that you know really bring the lab aspects of a pH electrode to the, the hobbyist market. And it's a really it's always a guessing game. Exactly right. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the we have a lot of the really uh, affordable handheld testers, which are great, but they lack a lot of features you would get in something like this. You don't know when the last time you calibrated was. It's not going to record the data. Uh, you're not getting that increased accuracy. You're not going to be able to read the results all the way to the thousands place, which does have some nice features to it. And again, the price point isn't much different than you would get from a tester. You know, hopefully down the road we come out with other types of electrodes, maybe salinity, maybe ORP that we could use this with. So pH is just kind of the first one, and this model that we use is. Uh, you know the PEI body so it has a, a plastic body with a glass sensing bulb so you're not going to break it if you go from the sump to the tank or anything like that um, it's just overall a great unit and retails for 160 so, and it's definitely uh, you know comes with the case it comes with storage solution and everything like that so a uh, nice little feature most people know our calcium checker it's been in the industry for quite a while um, some love it some didn't like it so much but one thing that we did to really improve the test was we included this new uh, mechanical pipette it's a hundred microliter mechanical pipette and the idea behind that is the new checker, uh, the calcium checker uses 100 to 1 dilution to analyze calcium. So meaning you have to use uh, 10 mils of reagent in RODI water and uh, 0.1 mils of sample, right? So essentially you're using a really small sample size, uh, which led to a lot of inaccuracies with our old kit. We had a, a 1 mil syringe that required 0.1 mils of uh, sample to administer that. So what we did here is we included this 100 microliter pipette that allows for fixed dosage of that sample to the cuvette. So now you're going to get no increased or decreased sample size. Uh, it's really easy to use. Pretty much the, the new check, all the new checkers come with this. So you're just going to push this down to the first stop and administer the tip of this into your saltwater sample. Slowly lift up that tip of the pipe, the plunger of the pipette, move over to the cuvette, and you're going to push down to the first stop and then the second stop to administer all that saltwater sample. This time you're going to know exactly 0.1 mils are going to be used every time. And uh, people have been getting a lot better results with our calcium checker because of it. And uh, I guess one other thing that we, we have that's been well, is this digital seawater refractometer. Um, you know, digital seawater refractometer is nothing new to the hobby, but we've had one around for quite a while that, uh, you know, has been, uh, is a really great unit and something that people should really consider if they want to get really accurate salinity dosages and uh, get a good reading on what their salinity is in terms of their mixing salt water up. There's no uh, calibration needed other than RODI water. And you also just, uh, you know, in order to use this, you can use it, it, it automatically compensates for any sample differences in temperature. So let's say you're mixing up a batch of salt, you haven't, uh, your water isn't heated up yet. A lot of your optical refractometer is only calibrated at a real narrow temperature range. So with this one, is gonna allow you to uh, really get an accurate reading of uh, salinity no matter what that sample temperature is, which has a really big impact on refractive index. So kind of three, you know, three big products we made improvements on. Another product we actually came out with recently too is this, uh, waterproof pH and temperature meter. It's called the FEP or the HI98107. So with these guys, it retails about $40. Uh, you get a, uh, your, your pH meter. It's waterproof. It's te it measures temperature. But in addition to measuring temperature, it also adjusts the pH reading based on that temperature. So if you, if you were going to, you know, if, a, if you measured a pH of a sample of around, uh, let's say the, the water was 55 degrees, the pH uh, might be different if that water was 75 degrees, right, from an electrode. So this is going to take into account any differences associated with that. It comes with buffers of calibration solution, a case, and it retails at a great $40 price point. So uh, another great improvement we made to the hobby and uh, you know, overall just uh, been a really well received unit as well. Well, thank, thank you so very much. It's really nice to see companies really working on improving their products and not sitting on uh, yeah. sitting on their hands when they put something out. It, it makes a difference to hobbyists. It really makes a difference to the, the end user. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Really appreciate it. And uh, please look forward to seeing this video on uh, Reese.com.